David Morgan, silver is up 28% over the past three months. It's been a fantastic quarter for the metal. So is it time to take profits or maybe switch into something like gold, which is only up 12%? I would say not as far as taking profits profit probably it depends on the individual and how they trade and you know when they got in there's too many variables to answer that question for everybody that's in this market but it has had a quite a run and so 28 percent profit as you say in one quarter certainly want to at least protect those profits if not take something off the table nonetheless silver has a tendency to overshoot and I think based on what I've seen recently, and I just did an update for our members only last night, basis where, where we're at as of last night's trading, and there's a bull flag formation. We went through it briefly. I'd like to see a few more days trading before I commit too much, but I like the formation. I think we could go higher here. I have been on record, as you know, Greg, saying that we should see 35 to 40 by the end of the year. I'm pretty confident we could see 40 by the end of the year. Of course, that's a few months out, as we all know. What's the catalyst, though, to take it higher? People are already saying that QE3 is a failure, didn't work. So what takes silver higher from here on in? I think answer your own question. I think the failure of QE3, it's people more and more waking up, not only professional money managers, pension funds, but individuals themselves that are looking to see, you know, this printing of the money system is not helping, this increasing the debt and the debt-based monetary system is failing. Where can I go? And the answer is very clear. Precious metals, hard assets, the commodity sector. In the commodity sector, gold and silver are the top tier because they represent money and always have. So I think you're going to see more and more pressure into the metals, even though, as you say, QE3 isn't working. QE1 didn't really work. QE2 didn't work. And QE3 isn't. So more and more people wake up to this risk on coming back in.